The women's golf team won't start its regular season until September 23rd, but three members of the squad will get the chance to head out to the course before then, as the LPGA's 2011 Walmart Northwest Arkansas Championship returns to the Pinnacle Country Club in Rogers next Thursday through Sunday. Sophomore Emily Tubert, who received a sponsor's exemption, will see how far she can go as an amateur, while teammates Victoria Vela, who shot an 82 in the qualifying round of the event last year, and Emma Levy will attempt to qualify on Monday. I think it was an awesome reward. Uh, Emily's goal is obviously to play uh, at the next level. Um, she had such a fantastic year last year. Uh, she was uh, given the sponsor's exemption into the event. Um, and just she just really relishes the opportunity to play against the best in the world. And I think it'll be a good measuring stick for her to uh, see how her game stacks up. I think she'll be quite surprised that uh, she has a lot of the tools that she needs to take her game to the next level. And I think it'll be a great test for her. Um, to be in that environment. The Arkansas volleyball team took a five-set loss to Oral Roberts on Tuesday despite a record night from senior Kelly Stepanovich, who became the first Razorback since 2007 to post 30 kills in a match. Stepanovich, who also had 14 digs and seven blocks, says that despite her efforts, the Hogs learned some valuable lessons from the defeat. I really felt in the zone tonight. Um, just senior year, um, I know what a loss like this can do to the team and can do to us later in the season when we're looking at instead of a tournament. So um, I was really driven to um, not let that happen this year like it has in the past. So um, obviously, um, we still have stuff to learn, but I think that um, we can really learn from this and move on. The match ended the Razorbacks' season opening homestand, and Arkansas will now face a nine match road stretch before returning to Barnhill Arena September 23rd. I think we'll be fine on the road. I, I really do. It's just a matter of on that first weekend, just getting used to the fact of being on the road and sleeping in a different bed and all those things that come with it. You plane, uh, travel delays, uh, you know, eating in the airport when you were planning on having a meal, all those crazy things that happen when you travel and how we handle them. But we think we have a very good team, a mature team, and uh, I think going on the road will be good for us to just keep growing. Cross Country officially begins its 2011 season Friday as both the men's and women's teams welcome Missouri Southern to Agri Park for their annual meeting. While both coaches say they approach every meet seriously, the first one of the year is always just a good way to get their team's feet wet. We'll run part of our crew to uh, kind of shake the rust off. Maybe some of the newcomers get a chance to uh, wear the uniform for the first time, make sure it fits and uh, we'll run 4K, and we we'll look forward to uh, you know good solid competition, and even more importantly, we look forward to Saturday for a workout. We're just gonna uh, get in there and get our feet wet. That's basically what we're doing. You know, Start to get into routine, building a routine of, um, of what we do 24, 48 hours before the meet, what we do right after the meet, and, and see if we can't develop some good habits uh, as we go along uh, through the season so that when we get to the SEC meet, uh, we get to the national meet, um, you know, we're, we're solid. And of course, we can't forget about Razorback football as the countdown to this season's kickoff has dwindled down to hours rather than days. After going through their weekly Perfect Thursday practice yesterday, Coach Petrino and his staff has confirmed the Razorbacks are ecstatic to run out of that A. For this Friday's edition of the Razorback Report, I'm Zach Swartz for ArkansasRazorbacks.com.